Well, hello fellow foragers, one and all. We're looking here again at Lycium ferocissimum, also known as African boxthorn. It grows in la over large areas of Australia and New Zealand. And it's related to the goji berry, close relative of the goji berry. Let's read about it in Wild, oops, Wild Herbs of Australia by Tim Lowe. And of course it's got terrible thorns, that's why it's called box thorn. It's got vicious thorns. Let's read about it as a possible foodstuff and foraging source. Oops, dreadful thorns. Now, here we go. Oops, Wild Herbs of Australia and New Zealand by Tim Lowe. Let's read the important bit about its edibility or not. Box thorn is traditionally included among the latter, that is, many toxic species of the Solanaceae family, a family famous for its important food plants, that's like capsicum and potato, and notorious for its many toxic species. Boxthorn belongs to the, the, to the tomato family, Solanaceae, a family famous for its important food plants and notorious for its many toxic species. Boxthorn is traditionally included among the latter, as the fruits are claimed to have caused narcotic symptoms in humans on some occasions. However, the fruits are also held to be edible, and I have eaten them a number of times without ill effect. The raw berries taste very like sweet tomatoes, but may be unpleasantly bitter. That is, some plants are bitter and some aren't. You know, you've got to, like anything else, any fruit variety, you've got to test to see if it's bitter or sweet. They make excellent jams and tarts when stewed with sugar. Occasionally the berries dry on the shrub, and these have the fla flavour of sultanas. Yes, I have seen them dry on, the shr on their shrubs, but the birds like them. The rosellas, the native Australian parrots like them. Occasionally the berries dry on the shrub, and these have the flavour of sultanas. The claims of poisoning are probably hearsay, as are similar shames made for blackberry nightshade, another edible member of the tomato family. Chinese, similar plants, Chinese box thorn, that's Lycium barbarum, is a very similar shrub from southeastern Australia and New Zealand with smaller berries, also said to be edible. Well, yes, uh, they're very popular now. They're called goji berries, but uh, if you go to an Asian store online, they can be called lyce berries, L-Y-C-I, lyce berries, you can buy them dried. Aborigines ate the berries of the Australian box thorn, Lycium austral, a native bush of arid southern Australia. Yeah, if you look in the sidebar to this video, I'll put in links to Green Dean's uh, Eat the Weeds uh, videos and his special page, uh, pages on Lyceum. Huh. Anyway, here they are. There's, um, you don't eat the, uh, you don't eat the green ones. There, what's a green one? There's a green one. You don't eat the green ones because they're like green potatoes or green tomatoes, you don't eat them. The green ones, you don't eat the yellow ones or the orange ones. There's a yellowy one. You don't eat the orange ones, you only eat the ripe ones. My grandfather used to stew up the ripe ones and make a sort of stew out of them to eat like prunes. Um, I suppose I should try one just to see what it's like. I don't really like raw tomatoes because they can make me feel a bit sickly, but... Yes, let's try that one there. It's a very ripish looking one. Let's just see what it tastes. I'm not going to swallow it because, well, because raw tomatoes can make me feel a bit sickly sometimes. They're alright in a sandwich. Mmm, that one's not bitter. That one's sweet. Mmm, that's a lucky find. Mmm, I could eat more of those. Let's just uh, <laughs> let's just eat that one to see if I make it to the next video. <laughs> you know they've got a reputation for being toxic, but uh, my grandfather used to eat them, and Tim Lowe's eaten them. And another book called Wild Food in Australia is it by by Grub, I think they ate them too. And the Aborigines ate a close relative. There is one member of the Lycium family that is uh, toxic. I think it's in Cuba or somewhere, but see for that on Green Dean's Ly Ly Lyceum web pages. 
Oops, my screen just went black. Yes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a whole lot of ripe ones, like my grandfather did, and I'm going to put them in the microwave and sweat them and have them with um, some sugar. Not that I need much sugar because these ones are quite sweet. What I'd like to know is why are these so despised? Okay, they've got terrible thorns and they can injure even on Kangaroo Island where these run rampant. The snakes there are endangered because the snakes are injured by the dreadful thorns and the native snakes are in danger of extinction because of the thorns. So these are a threat to biodiversity but we may as well eat them. And they're like goji lysi berries. They're full of antioxidants and things. And they're free. Oh, <laughs> yes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to collect a whole lot of them. Oh, that's a nice one. Look at that one. I'm going to collect a whole lot of them. It's all swallowed now, so let's see what happens. Yes, I wouldn't eat the green ones of this family or, or the orange ones, only the right ones. And, uh, yes, what I'd like to know is why they're, why they're not um, more respected. Because they're everywhere. They grow all over, you know, most of New South Wales where people are. And uh, they can be eaten. I'd like to know what the Africans did. If they're called African box thorns, why isn't there much information about what Africans did with them? Yes. So I'm going to sweat them in the microwave. I'm going to add some sugar. I don't think my grandfather ate them with sugar, but I'm going to add some sugar, but they won't need too much. So, and rosellas love them. They're wonderful. They're one of the important rosella foods. If people kill all these box thorns with uh, poison, what are the rosellas going to have to eat? So if you kill box thorns, you should replace them with, with trees. Now, I'm on uh, 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 some land not far from my home where these are growing wild. But, uh, you know, if on your home there are a noxious weed, so you're not allowed to let them grow in your home. You're only allowed to uh, just pick them in the wild. But it's amazing. Now, how did they get into Australia? They were, this book says they were introduced from Africa as a hedging plant. So obviously in the old days before barbed wire, it was important to have... Um, you know, thorny plants to keep your animals in. But I think, yes. Now, how did my grandfather know about these? Well, goji berries have been growing in Britain for centuries and hedgerows. It's possible that on the English side of my family, that bit of information was brought over to Australia. Or it's possible that the Chinese in Australia, lots of Chinese during the gold rush, they may well have been uh, known about, uh, well, they would have known about goji berries. And uh, when the... Uh, African box thorn were introduced, they may have availed themselves too, so who knows how my grandfather got that information. But, uh, yes, they are nice berries, some are bitter and inedible, only eat the ripe ones. Do your research, of course, always do your research when eating berries and strange foods to see if they agree with you, only eat small amounts at first, and uh, do your research, and don't be foolish. Read all your wild food books on foraging. Be sensible. Don't take any risks. And yes, I shall sweat those. I shall sweat those in the microwave and have them with some sugar and see how they go with a bit of cream maybe or something. Is there anything more I should say about box thorn? Well, they're beautiful anyway. Beautiful and glossy. And the uh, Chinese lysi berry or goji berry is more of a vining plant. But um, they look very similar. If you go to Wikipedia and look up Lysi goji berries, you'll find that they look very like this, just like this, and uh, except they're sort of more like a vine. And remember, go to Green Dean's uh, web pages that I'll put in the sidebar and have, read all about Lyceum and, and the different types of Lyceum. And... Uh, uh, you know, any toxicity there? Yes, toxicity. Even goji berries can be toxic. Some people uh, find goji berries toxic. So the toxicity issues are all discussed on Wikipedia about goji berries. They would apply to these too. Read all your Australian wild food books. See ya.